Guys, this is Stu. Just another inbox review of what was one of uh, Germany's fam most famous, well known, and widely used bombers during the Second World War. It is the Junkers Ju 88. This is the A4 bomber version, uh, but it was mainly widely used not only as a bomber, but also as a torpedo bomber, night fighter, high altitude reconnaissance bomber, um, and basically a jack of all trades and it was the most widely produced bomber during their um, Second World War and the whole of the Luftwaffe with around about 15,000 examples built and it was also used as a sort of a flying mistal as they called it whereby it was piggybacked by a Messerschmitt or a Fokker Wolf 190 and the lower part was packed with the explosives on the main fuselage so yes quite a varied history Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the actual uh, review of this box. This kit I've had for quite some time now. I think I bought it about six or seven years ago um, when it first came out. Uh, it is a retool of an old kit. So I think it's the old uh, uh, Humber old kit or whatever it was, Hellaire kit. Uh, just basically reboxed by Ravel. Um, the actual price I paid for it at the time was only £16.99. I think it's a little bit more than that now. Um, and other examples have been produced by Ravel. In fact, recently I think they brought out the Night Fighter version, so I'd love to get a hold of that. On the side of the box, basically you've got illustrations of the actual kit itself, which does look like it comes up very nice indeed. And then again, you've got a history on the other side. And the kit number on this, in case you're interested, is 04672. Okay, guys. Right, again, with Reveal Boxings, uh, it's a side opening box. Got the instruction sheet, as you see there. Again, it's with the illustration of the aircraft on the top, uh, as the model built together, as it were, and it looks rather nice. <clears throat> Very accurate. And then you've got a history of the aircraft, etc. I'm only going to skip through these instructions briefly because this is a sort of third tape. Because basically, when I did the whole lot, I overran. So here we go. Again, you've got the familiar symbols. That there. Okay. Again, you've got the colour codes, which you can cross-match with the colour app. Which, unfortunately, I can't do today, guys, because I'm having to charge the old phone up. So, I'll have to do it on a future video. Okay, but I will do it. Then you've got the sprue tree, and then you have the option of having it in flight mode, or with the undercarriage down. Again, you've got the assembly of the cockpit, which you can see here. And the amount of detail in it is just, whoa. <laughs> they, really, they really have done their research on this, guys. It's immense, so that's going to take the best part of a week just to build the interior, as you can see there, you know. And a mass, a mass of detail, right? So that will look particularly good with a wash and weathered up, and uh, with the big clear nose canopy this had, it looks super. And then obviously you've got, the, as you can see, you've got the assembly of the nose wheel at the back, even that is very detailed. <laughs> wow. There you go, and then you've got the final assembly of the cockpit there. Okay, and as you can see, you've got a lower part of the fuselage, it's split. That's the main nose section. Um, what this is about, I don't know. Whether it's a fuel housing or where the, where the gun was, I don't know. Uh, it might be an escape hatch, I suppose. <clears throat> and again, then you apply the nose bay to the main fuselage. And then you've got to put in holes for the actual bomb cra uh, racks, as it were. And then you've got the assembly of the tip tank, tip wing tips, and obviously some of the main rudders. Okay. And then the fuselage is uh, married up with the wings. And then you've got the application of the dive brakes, as well as the actual flaps. And then the assembly of the tailplanes and the main rudder. And then the assembly of the front of each um, engine pylon, which was it was an inline engine, believe it or not, BMW. And then the assembly of the bomb racks with the bomb holders. I mean, the level of detail on this is just superior. It's one of the best Fokker, well, Ju88s I've seen. This is why I bought this kit. 
and then obviously assembly of the undercarriage bays and engine pylons onto the wings and then you put the bomb bay bomb racks obviously on the side of the fuse lock well wings there okay <coughs> right again with the undercarriage look at the assembly process okay and you've even got the un well you got no you got the rear doors for the uh, rear wheel and then you assemble that to the few through the uh, undercarriage bay and then you've got the option of having it closed if you want it in flight mode okay there you go okay so that's that and then this is obviously the assembly of where the gunners station is at the uh, bottom rear of the aircraft and then you've <clears throat> basically got to put the MG34 there okay and then you've got the nose glazing assembly of the machine guns to the nose uh, front and rear of the cockpit the assembly of the bombs okay and then obviously you've got the uh, your bomb load onto the aircraft itself and then obviously you've got the gun station which goes underneath and then the assembly of the two cockpit halves there and you can actually get masking sets for this so don't worry about masking tape etc okay same with the nose glazing as well and then you've got the assembly of the propellers too and the uh, ones to the uh, engines etc okay and then you've got one of two color schemes and color call outs and obviously you've got stencil location this is the one I'm going to do, which is the one illustrated on the box, which was in Sicily with the uh, yellow engine hubs. Oh, that would be nice. And then obviously you've got an alternate version, which is in Greece in 1942. Okay. <clears throat> right, let's get to the main part of the kit. All again, it comes in one bag, and it is packed with detail. I mean, look at that. The level of detail in that cockpit is amazing. I'll take it out and let you see it. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can get it in the focus, guys. So worry about this. Ah, here we go. Fun and games again. Again, I mean, all the panelling on it. Yeah, <clears throat> recess panelling is superb. Absolutely superb. The attention to detail is absolutely fantastic. And you see the cockpit components. Wow. <laughs> you don't need it to pass with this, I'll tell you. <clears throat> this is your nose. This is your tail rudder. And then you've got the uh, radio right there. Superb detail. Okay. Absolutely superb. This is basically your engine cowlings, propellers tires again the level of detail on this is very very good and obviously you've got your bomb racks etc oh excuse me um and there's your gunner station at the bottom of the fuselage you can see there okay dive brakes i mean those are super And then there's the upper part of the fuselage. Okay, along with the wing tips. Again, lovely recess panel details. Undercarriage bays where the engine hubs are. Not much detail inside, but I suppose again on those you can get aftermarket sets if you really want to go that far. And there's your tail planes. Okay. Again, lovely detail on them. Very crisply made. Let's get the other part out of the way. That's the same with what you've seen before. Okay. <clears throat> and there is basically the navigator seat, etc. And the control yoke. Super detail on that. Absolutely beautiful. And last but not least, obviously you've got the nose. <clears throat> you got the cockpit detail beautifully molded clear as anything so all that detail you've got in the canopy you'll beautifully see beautifully produced 
So I'm really looking forward to building this kit. And then obviously last but not least, if I can get it out, where is it? Sorry about this guys. Here's the decal sheet. And there you are, all the stencils and options for the two aircraft. Beautifully produced. Guys, if you can get this kit, do. It is one of Ravel's best. It's the best 172nd bomber I've seen. Well, best kit I've seen of the JU-88 yet. Get hold of one, do. It's a super kit. And I personally am looking forward to building this as and when I do. So until then, get kit crazy, happy modelling, and I'll see you on the next review.